Hey y'all, what's going on? This is Jesse Bose from the 19th Hole. We've got the Golden Shot Hard Edition for you all. This is from the Maple Bay course. This was hole number four from the uh, previous Skyline Cup tournament. So hopefully we can help you all out with a little bit of information about this hole and the way to play the Golden Shot. And hopefully maybe get that ace and bring home the big time loot. So we're going to talk about the chart and then I'm going to show you some shots. So good luck to you all. And uh, let's get it. You have the option, you get one free shot for each of your accounts, and then you have the option to buy more shots. Uh, six shots for $4.99. Uh, you have the choice to use these clubs. We're going to be using the long iron for this one. We always use the golden ball. We always have five to eight mile per hour wind. So when you are creating your measurements and your, uh, your adjustments, you only need to know your adjustments that are going to be in between that 5 to 8 mile per hour wind mark. Uh, if you have any extra questions about the golden shot, you can click on the little question mark thing. It takes you to this kind of this Q&A uh, session thing right here where you can ask questions. Or if you have a question that's on the left, it'll give you information about uh, you know each of the, the questions. So basically what we're playing for is the obsidian chest right here. This is what you get if you get the ace. You get 48 total cards, 15 rare, 8 epic, and last but not least, the sleeve of Berserker Balls. That's what we all want. The The prizes do scale down from there. Um, Crimson, Aqua, Cobalt, and then if you get the yellow ring, it's the Amber Chest. So you see, uh, still get 5 Berserker Balls for this one, uh, but a few less cards than you get for the ace. So, next thing we're going to do is we're going to head out to the chart. We're going to talk about the different wind directions the adjustments you want to make and the uh, the different ways the ways that you want to set up your shot with the app or without the app so be right back in just a second all right so here we have a picture of the shot set up for this hole this is kind of what you're going to be trying to go for each shot um, before you take your shot you want to have your red red ring nestled up against the edge of this rough line right here uh, and then also you want to have your clear ring right there cutting into the bunker you can see that the clear ring cutting into the bunker right there uh, those are really your two spots right there that you're gonna be looking for um, and definitely you know trying to get that set up pretty close to that spot is gonna be your key um, tip for setting up the shot to this hole uh, if you're just a little bit off, you know, that's okay. You're still going to probably get rings. But really, you want to have your shot nestled into that little corner area uh, for the best possible chance at the red, yellow, or the uh, the hole-in-one for this hole. So, all right, next is going to be the actual chart. All right, so this is the shot sheet for the, uh, the Maple Bay, um, for the golden shot. Um, if you are using an app, like Caddy or Golf Clash Notebook app, the way you're going to set up your shot is you're going to use the Golden Long Iron, you're going to play a plus 20%, and you're going to play off the mid-adjustment numbers for that shot. If you don't have an app and you are just using numbers, you're going to play the 1.75 per ring uh, as your, uh, your number. And basically, you only need to know, I would say probably your uh, 3, 3.5, and 4.5 ring numbers because those are the uh, the rings that are going to put you between that 5 to 8 miles per hour. Um, 3 is going to be 5.25 miles per hour. 3.5 will be 6.125 miles per hour. 4 will be 7 and then 4.5 will be 7.875. So that's your uh, your adjustments between 5 to 8 miles per hour, you know, those are the only rings that you really need to know uh, to accurately, you know, move your shot, uh, move your rings for the uh, for the wind. So on the chart there, you're going to see the different directional uh, values, headwind, tailwind, sidewind, and in correlation to those, you will see the uh, spin values. So like if you have a straight tailwind, you'll play a 2.25 uh, backspin, and you'll play max right spin with no curl. Uh, now if we have a straight right to left side wind, you'll play 1.75 backspin, max right curl, I mean right spin, 
and you're going to apply a slight right curl. And when you say slight right curl, I want you to put your ball, uh, right edge of your ball, to the right edge of the blue circle. And that's the way you want to play that shot. Um, any, any tailwind, headwind, or left to right wind, you know, you're going to play with no curl. These are all no curls. Okay, uh, the only time you're going to play with curls is if you have some sort of a right to left wind. Uh, and if it's not a side wind, it's just going to be a small amount of curl, like baby curl. Okay, and that's basically all I have for you on the shot chart. Um, the shot chart will be available in the description on probably Tuesday morning. So if you uh, want to come back and look in the description, there will be a link to download that shot chart and print it off for yourself to be able to use. So the next thing we're going to do now is get into some of the shots. All right, so we got our first shot here. Uh, looks like we have a right to left kind of a side tailwindish type shot. So for that, we're going to go with 1.75 backspin and full right spin. As you see, we are going to set our shot up with a red ring uh, right there along the edge of the rough in that corner with our clear ring just cutting into the bunker. So for this shot right here, uh, we have to go with a 3.0 uh, ring adjustment here. So we'll pull our shot back, three rings, and we're going to use some curl here. Um, really, you only want the outside of your ball to go into the outside edge of that blue circle. So we actually overcurled a little bit, overcurled the shot a little bit here, and as you can see, as a result, we ended up a little bit to the right of the hole. If we had done the correct curl and curled the edge of our ball just to the edge of that that blue circle, we would have been in a much better uh, position there on that shot. Probably gotten the the red ring uh, at the very minimum. So let's see what we get on these chests here. Um, we got some rock cards, some junglist, woohoo, and some claws. I'm always getting the claw cards. And a couple berserkers, so that's good right there. We'll go on to our next shot here. Alright, so here this time we have um, a pretty much a side wind from right to left, maybe a little bit of tail in the shot. So this time we'll go with full right spin and two bars of back spin. We're going to set up our shot with the red uh, circle in that corner with uh, the clear ring just cutting the bunker. So for this one right here, 7.7 .7 wind, we're going to play at 4.4 rings. So we'll pull this shot back, 4.4 rings. And this one right here, we're only going to go with a little bit of curl here um, as opposed to a little bit more curls what we should have gone with but we still got the blue ring getting closer to that red ring so hopefully maybe next time we'll get the red ring still learning still learning these are all free shots it took six in total and you'll see all six here got a couple good balls got a couple good clubs right there so our next shot here Coming up here in just a second, we have a straight tailwind this time. So for this one right here, you're going to go with uh, two bars and just a little bit of backspin. So like two and a smidgen backspin and full right spin for this shot. Uh, we won't go with any kind of curl. We line our shot up with our red ring right on the edge of the rough. Uh, our clear ring cutting the bunker. And we're going to adjust back 3.5 rings for this shot. 6.1 is 3.5 rings. That's a 20% adjustment uh, for the downhill for that shot. Hit it perfect. And we get the bounce, the roll, and go ball, go, go. All right, we got the red ring. So we're getting closer and closer each time we take the shot. So you definitely want to make sure that as you're taking the shots that you're improving on your adjustments and fine-tuning your shot. Definitely a very important thing to do, um, especially if you do plan to buy the shots. It's always good to know what you're doing when you buy the shots. So we've got a couple good balls, a couple good cards, and we move on to our uh, our fourth shot here. So we have a kind of a right-to-left tailwind this time. So we'll go with uh, two bars of backspin. 
full right spin. We uh, I set our shot up here with our um, red ring in the corner right there of the rough. Clear ring cutting the bunker, as you can see. We're going to do a 3.7 ring adjustment on this one. So there we go. I'm pulling back 3.7 rings. And on this one right here, we're going to go just a little bit of curl. Not even our, our ball touching the, uh, the inner right side of that blue ring. Get the roll. Stop. Okay. Got a red ring. Not too bad. Really close to that yellow ring. Very, very close. Keep getting closer and closer. Get some runner cards. Some B52. That's a nice card right there. Some down and ones. Daniel... Uh, Mixed Dudes would be proud of that. And some Berserker cards. Awesome. Berserker balls. Awesome. All right. Fifth shot. Here we go. Let's see what we got here. We have, okay, we have a right to left uh, headwind this time. So we're going to go with uh, 1.25 backspin, full right spin. And we're going to set up our shot with our red ring once again, touching the edge of the rough with our clear ring cutting the bunker. And we're going to pull back on this one, or push forward on this one, just about four rings. So this time right here, we add just the slightest amount of curl to that shot. We get the bounce, the roll, go ball, it is going, and it is stopping. Oh, so close to the ace. But we get the yellow ring. So that means we've gotten uh, two red, a yellow, and two blue so far. Not too bad. All right, comes down to one final shot on my main account. Keep in mind, these are all free shots. And uh, wow, that's a nice chest right there. Look at that, all these new clubs opening up. Very nice. And five balls, awesome. Okay, so it all comes down to one last shot on my main account. Right to left, tailish wind, but it's kind of side wind. Uh, we're gonna play the southwest shot with a 1.25 backspin, full right spin. But when we go to actually take this shot, it looks a little bit more side wind to me, so I'm actually gonna play side wind curl. And this is one of those situations where you just gotta play your gut feeling. I felt like I needed a little bit extra curl in this shot because it felt like it was a little bit more side wind than it was tailwind. Uh, so that's the reason why I went with the extra curl for this shot. So we pull our shot back here, 3.9 rings. And as you see, we're gonna put a little bit of extra curl here. The outside edge of my ball, just barely missing the edge of that blue. We get the roll, get in the hole, baby. There it is, there's the ace. So awesome way to end the golden shot. We got uh, two blue rings, we got two red rings, we got one yellow, and then we got the ace to cap it off. That's how we do it, baby. So hopefully y'all can uh, take a few uh, tips from this golden shot. Make sure to uh, adjust that red ring to the corner edge of that uh, rough cut with the clear ring just cutting the edge of the bunker. Uh, try to be as consistent as you can be for that setup, and I think you will have success on this golden shot. Thank you all for joining me for this golden shot. If you did enjoy the video, definitely make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Hit that subscription, and if you would like to have notifications sent to you when I do release new videos or go live, definitely uh, check that uh, bell and set up those notifications properly. Uh, if you have Facebook and you want to find me on Facebook, you can find me at Golf Clash the 19th Hole. It's uh, the community kit page that I have set up. We've got over 3,000 members, and we are there to help assist you uh, with any kind of golf class related information and questions. So definitely check us out, ask some questions, get some answers, and join the family. Y'all have a good day. God bless.